Patrick, Cheltenham 2022, of course, you missed last year, no amateurs allowed to ride during COVID times. How big a thrill is it to be back there? Ah, it's it's huge. So this is this is what everything the whole year is, is is based around. So to miss it last year was very strange. You know, I'd been going there since '99 as a kid. So um, you know, Rachel and Brian keep uh, keep saying in the house, "Oh, do you remember Cheltenham last year?" And I'm like, "No, I wasn't there." So I, I'm doing it on purpose at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> Cousin Vinny was your first winner. Yeah, 2008. I was in school. I was 18. Um, went over thinking I was riding driving regardless, and there was a late. Uh, uh, I got called up to, to Cousin Vinny, which was great. Ruby rode the favourite on apt approach. Um, there was 10 races that, that day because it was the year Wednesday was called off for the high winds. Mm. So um, we were going around in the dark, but no, a day I won't forget. Now, fantastic. And uh, course we're not this year. Statler, really high profile horse going into the old four miler, as we call it. The three mile six, or I suppose you call it nowadays. Yeah, yeah, the National Hunt Chase. So um, Willie won it twice. Um, I think Max Friendly and Hazy Dawn, and I won it twice on Rap Vinden and back in focus. Um, so Statler's got a lot of class. Um, you know, he looks your stereotypical chaser. Um, I schooled him at the start of the year, I loved how he jumped. Um, I've worked, I'm riding him lately and he's working very well. And it's, um, you know, my only concern I suppose is he only has two chase runs. And I think mm. nine of the last ten winners have had four or more. Now the one, the one was back in focus, who had three. <laughs> um, so look, it's not impossible, but it's, uh, you'd love to have got another run. But, um, you know, he seems to be, touch wood, uh, a good jumper. Yeah, and he stayed extremely well in the ace up the hill. He did, and um, you know, and I actually thought at home this year he was a quicker horse. Um, and so I was, I was maybe a little disappointed that he, he didn't show more speed that day, but um, he definitely stayed very well. Yeah, and uh, that race, of course, can be run at breakneck gallop. you got to just take it as it comes down, down to the first fence and see how it pays to go, I suppose. Yeah, it's a little bit different now. There's only one fence before the first bend, um, which changes the dynamic a bit. It used to be three fences, you know, plenty of time to mm. get a position and get in. Whereas if you're not in your position for the first bend, um, it's hard to make it up. Um, yeah, I was handy on back and focus. I dropped in on Rat Vinden, so um, you just have to see what the field is on the day. Yeah, and the field, that's the thing. Last year was a brilliant race. It's worked out extremely well. It's getting better quality every year. It is. Um, you know, obviously, Native River got beaten that's in it. Pump on, tries to Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Native River got beaten in it, um, but there's been Gold Cup winners, Grand National winners. Um, you know, since it's become a, an open novice race, it's, mm. a, it's, a, it's a very high class race. Bit away. Stable stalwart. Paul Townend probably should have won him last year, should he? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, that's your words, not mine. Um, but he ran a cracker. <laughs> he did, he ran a cracker, and he got a lot closer than I did the year before, so we'll give him that. Um, yeah, like the first year I rode him, he had a lot of experience, and he just, he was slow away from his fences. And I thought maybe next, last year, you know, the, the extra experience would help him. He did everything right, and he just ran into a decent horse in the day. Um, now, we put cheek pieces on him the last day in Nice, and he's schooling them, and he's much sharper, jumps a lot quicker, travels a lot better with him. I'm um, sort of hoping that might be able to give him the edge to make it third time lucky. Yeah, it's uh, he's a remarkable horse really. He doesn't race too often, but Willie targets this race with him every year. It seems like. Yeah, you know, Willie made the decision early on to put him put him away for hundred chasing, and he's improved and improved and improved. And there's a great program there if you have a good hundred chaser. Mm. You know, now unfortunately he didn't like Aintree last year, so he won't be going back there. I I, I doubt. Um, but uh, you know, I think he's only been out of the first two once maybe. I think that was in Aintree. So um, when he ran an extraordinary race. Um, so he's hugely consistent. Um, you know, he got beaten on his debut this year, but he missed a bit of time at Christmas. He didn't run at Christmas, and I just think he needed the run. Um, so to see him back to form in Nice was hugely encouraging. It was indeed very impressive. And uh, of course, uh, the main event of the week, and there's no jumps to be jumped, of course, to bumper. Cousin Vinny, we mentioned already, host of talent here in William Mullins, a stable, of course, of it. Fasal Vega, though, is number one pick at the minute. Yeah, well, look, he's definitely at the top of the pile. What he did in Leperstown the two days was, was very eye catching. Um, you know, he settled, uh, he showed a turn of foot, he galloped through the line. Um, you know, the fact that he's got uh, his mother makes it very special, uh, Kivega, and um, he, he's done everything right. Um, you know, but I, I just think we have a, a hugely talented team this year. Willie's put a lot more, um, bought a lot more bumper horses this year. The last few years we've been buying a lot of French horses, but I think this year now we've got a lot more in the bumper department, which is great. Um, but Redemption Day would be a very different type of horse. He's a lot smaller, slighter, probably quicker. Um, and he would work as, just as well as Saka Vega here at home. There'd be nothing much between them. Um, so, you know, there's not a straightforward decision. We'll have to see how they work next week. Madman's Game would be the biggest of the lot. Very laid back, very lazy. Um, you know, when we first got him, we thought, oh, he's not really a bumper mm. horse. But he's not as slow as he lets on. Um, if you watch back Nace or Navin, I'm in front and I'm left alone. And he's not doing anything, but the minute Jamie gets to his boot, 
he shoots forward. Um, he's definitely one to keep an eye on going forward. He went through line strongly. He did, and I think loads more in the tank. Um, so he's he's probably uh, you know there's far more there. And then St James's Gate. Um, he probably arrived in the yard latest of all of these, um, so he kind of came Christmas time, which would be unusual for Willie to run one that quick. You know, Tornado Flyers is probably the last one to have done something similar. Um, and he was third in Shetland, one on and one in Punchdown. But whatever he did in Punchdown the first day, uh, I think there's an awful lot of improvement to come from him. Yeah, of course, and the colours of Sean and Bernadine, Bernadine Mulrine. Fasil Vega, what's the similar, similarities with him and his dam, of course, Cova Vega, multiple Cheltenham winner. What do you see from having lived with her, if you like, over the years? Uh, at the moment, nothing. She was the height of the table. He's huge. Um, she was very grumpy. He's not. Um, I'm hoping maybe after in two weeks' time that the similarity will be they're both Cheltenham winners. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, but no, he, you'd, you'd swear he's adopted. You know, her first fold who was here, Princess Vega, was exactly like her, small and very grumpy. Um, but this fella is very laid back, very tall. Um, he must. Uh, he must get it from maybe. He must get that from the father side. Maybe. <laughs> How exciting is Cyrus he walk in the park? Uh, yeah, he, he looks very good. We've had a couple of good ones here. Um, you know, plenty of size, plenty of ability. Um, you know, they have, they have to go on now and, and do it in the bigger stage. But so far, so good. All roads lead to Chelham. Can't wait to get back. It's a definitely. You know. Um, you know. I when I won on Rap Vinden, um, I didn't get to ride him back into the winners' enclosure, um, which was a, a big pity. So. I'd love to be able to ride one back in, and to ride a favourite back in is a different buzz altogether, you know, so uh, hopefully it'd be magic if we could get one.